Well, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cesar, and we are talking about BCHG, LTCN, and GSOL today. Hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Very much appreciate everybody for doing that. Let's let's get started. All right. Looking at the daily here, we are beneath the 40, right, with yesterday's close for BCHG. We've been here a couple times in this area and bounced so far. Will this be another time, or will we will we continue lower and potentially see the oversold zone as we have, you know, previously? It's not that we're completely, <coughs> completely absolved of going there. It's just since... Uh, February of last year, 2023. I mean, we've we've been finding this 40 to 35 area as support um, more often than not, right? So could we could we where we've consistently been finding support? Could we find it here again, or do we go a little bit lower? That's the question. I think if we look in the three hour, that's not really that helpful. I mean, the one hour and the three hour they don't look that good. To be completely fair, the price action does look like it's slipping. I just can't help but think that you're going to form a higher low here or some kind of double bottom if anything you might go lower than the current price right now you're at 1065 it wouldn't surprise me if tomorrow you went down as well but if we look at this low to high here i mean i, I would expect 972 to hold so you're at 1065 now 972 let's look at bch Cats are being crazy. Uh, 484 is what it's at now, and I think BCH looks like it wants to move up. It actually looks really good. So BCHG and BCH, obviously, they can move independently of each other. We're seeing this this now where BCHG is moving down. BCH has clearly, in the same amount of time, um, been moving up. Sorry, I thought I was I thought I was going to be able to show that, but let's see. BCH down up, right? Over the past like four days, three days now. Or over the past three or four days we've been moving down. Um, I wouldn't expect this divergence between them to happen for too much longer, right? So I, I do believe BCH is on its way up. I think BCHG by default would start to see some of that upside from BCH as well. But it might it might go down a little bit more. Things don't look good necessarily in the daily RSI and the three hour and the one hour. They're not completely condemning, but I have a feeling, let's just call it a feeling that you're not going to see lower prices than this low. I think that you are if not already at your low, you might go a little bit lower tomorrow. Perhaps you do find some kind of double bottom, but I'm, I'm expecting that you're either here or near your low for BCHG. I hope that helps. Soon enough, you're going to be making your way up higher um, to prices. Let's see, at this high to low here. Anywhere from like $30.80 $30 to $42.80 or beyond, absolutely, you can see that $55 to $60 price. You know, if you're interacting with these levels over here in correspondence to your all-time high kind of range, why not go to the top side of that, which is at your 1886, so, I mean, why not? But then, you know, then again, from the all-time high to the all-time low, 886 lines up right there at about 33 bucks, I don't know. <clears throat> right in the middle of that range too. So 33 bucks between 30 to $35 is going to be some serious resistance. That's for sure. If you break it, then yeah, sure. 55 to 60 bucks is on the table, but um, that's over the weeks, over the months to come. Right. In the meantime, let's just worry about this kind of uh, temporary downtrend that we're in, right? This consolidation phase. Let's see if we can't form some kind of higher low here or a double bottom at the very you know least. Um, and then continue higher from here. I think I think any day now we're going to break this consolidation, right? We're gonna we're gonna phase out of that, but I say any day now, it could be it could be a week or two from now as well. So that's BCHG. Let's go to LTCN. You guys, if I sound tired or low energy, it's because I am. It's like one in the morning here. Drove a lot today. Uh, just got back from my hometown. Hi mom, hi dad, I made it safe. Um, low to high. Now with the way the LTCN looks, bouncing off its 382, rejecting the 236 like this, I would almost always expect that you were to move down to your 61869 area at about 15 to $17. Now I wanna say first and foremost, I don't think that's gonna happen. Those were targets once upon a time, they're not targets now. Based on the FIB, yes, I suppose those targets could you know make sense, but I just, I don't see that happening because that would imply then 
I mean, at the very least, that LTCN would move sideways because LTCN could move down while, while LTC moves sideways. But if LTC moves up, if we hold this higher low, higher high kind of structure that we're in right now, if, if it moves up, I can't see LTCN moving too much lower. <clears throat> And if it doesn't move too much lower, then that means you're holding your 382. You might have another reaction to go up here. A double bottom off your 382, it's not, it's not a very uh, common reaction. Like this, this kind of maneuver, 382 to 236, you're generally going down here, right? But it can happen where, where you're bouncing off this. As long as you're getting above your 236, above $34.83, I think you're fine. I'm not too worried about this move right now coming down. I think that this is going to be uh, kind of kind of like with BCHG. I think this is going to be another higher low, right? If not kind of a double bottom even. Um, the daily RSI is getting into bottoming territory, right? We've bounced off this area once, twice, back here even, right? We could go a little bit lower, of course. Let's look at the three hour. Three hours not really of help either. I suppose the three hour would make me think that we're going lower. The one hour might not though, so I don't know. 26 bucks now, I think it holds the line. I don't think it moves too much lower, if it moves lower at all. And inevitably, yes, I think you're on your way to higher prices to break out of this range as well. It's the same old song and dance as BCHG, just different prices, right? Um, inevitably, yes, you'll be working your way higher. I think if we take this high here to this low, you got your 618. When you break through that, you're going up to 143, 246, 249, something like that. Um, potentially even all the way up to around like 460. You know, you're at 26 bucks now. So that's what's to come. I would think that by the end of this year, you could very well be at your all time high area above 246. You could be at a 10x from the current price right now by the end of the year for LTCN. But I don't know if you're just going to do that in a straight line, right? Like you've done this right here right? Is that enough growth in that amount of time? Would you have to grow faster? I mean, that would take you all the way up to like 140. That'd be by August. You could consolidate again for a little bit of time and then move up for the rest of the year. I don't know. It could happen. I think you've got enough, you know, in you. Like, really, you could see prices above $200 by the end of the year for sure. <clears throat> And if not, at any rate, I think you are going to see stupendous growth from here on out. But it just depends on uh, when you break out of this consolidation phase, right? I, I don't think this will be your last consolidation phase of the uh, of the year. I would assume you have probably at least one more in you, you know, maybe multiple, who knows. But um, this next leg up from this consolidation, when you break it, I think it'll take you probably between 143 to 246. That's That's my genuine assumption. We'll see. We'll see. But that's that's to be determined. It, it all starts with a break of this range, and I would I would assume. Let's just see. I mean, really, some kind of move above this, above thirty four dollars and fifty cents. We move above thirty four dollars fifty cents above that high there, then it's on. That's all I got to say on LTCN. Uh, G Soul, hit that like button, you guys. Subscribe if you haven't. G Soul. I'm normally not as low energy. I swear. Um, very bullish daily RSI, very odd price action. You've got this look of like, that's not, that's not what I was going for of this symmetrical triangle here, right? Kind of looks like that broken out, but now you're rolling over. I mean, that's okay. It's okay to roll over a little bit. You can move up from there, you know, um, rejecting the overbought zone kind of, I mean, you got into it. Bearish divergence a little bit. Yeah, you're just pulling back. I don't know. I think I think this is like a, this would be a bear trap, right? Like I think this is just a, like psych. We're gonna go up. Like it's it's not gonna merit too much. You could go lower, of course. I don't think you're gonna go lower than that low, but you're at 430. Let's call it 438. You could go down to like 420, 380 even. You know, it could it could be that low. Some some kind of higher low. Um, but I wouldn't expect it to be too, too much lower. I mean, 380 to 370 is a target area, but I don't know if I would believe that. 420 from 438, I could see that more so. I don't know, that three hour looks like it wants to go down a little bit, sure. The one hour, too. Let's look at Solana, see what Solana's doing. 
And for anybody, if, if anybody hasn't caught on to it, um, so I'm sure some of you are wondering, you might have the question, why Why is the underlying asset moving up, but the trust is moving down? Is, is there something wrong? There's nothing wrong. Nothing wrong at all. It just happens. They're not 100% correlated. It's not an ETF, right? It's, it's based on what you, the consumers, are deciding to do or the market makers, whatever. It's, it's got its own um, pricing. It's, it's not staked. It's not tethered tied to the underlying assets. So they, they can move independently of each other, but no, that does not mean they're broken. That does not mean anything bad. It's just standard volatility, like just nothing, nothing really to worry about, nothing to uh, get worked up over. Solana actually looks really good. I would think it wants to keep moving up actually. What's up with the underlying assets moving up? I wonder, I wonder if, uh, if the grayscale trusts are moving down because the Ethereum ETF got approved, right? And that might scare people into what happens if this ETF gets approved or that ETF gets approved, you know? Other, the, the underlying assets are going up on the ETF news, but the grayscale trusts are kind of going down. Maybe not on the ETF news, but I don't know. It's just a theory. It kind of makes sense to me, but Solana looks like it wants to move up. So I'm going to give it the same kind of vote of confidence as I have the other two. If the underlying assets moving up, you can only move down so much. So I wouldn't assume that you'd move down to 370 to 380. You're at 438 right now. I think 420 sounds about right. 420 to $400, somewhere in there. Find support and then move up. Sounds about right to me. Where are you going to move to? High to low. Assuming you respect this fib range, which I don't know if you will, because you have such a volatile kind of like shake out here, right? But eight hundred to twelve hundred dollars would be your next target, and I mean you could expect to see that sometime this summer. So, I mean, potentially by the end of uh, June, you could be up at eight hundred, maybe sometime in July. I, I would expect by August you're you're in this range though for sure. Um, and that's all I got to say, guys. So if you like the video, hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more. I you know Soul G Soul might move down a little bit. A little bit more than the other two potentially over the next like day or two or maybe the rest of this week even but uh, i do think it wants to move up higher soon enough very soon in comparison I, I don't know which one which one looks like it wants to gain the most was it bchg or ltcn I guess LTCN probably in the shortest amount of time, but time will tell. Anyways, that's all I got. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you. Bye-bye.